Hello and welcome to EA Live's presentation of the, your East Angels versus the Montbello Warriors. We're about to have tip off. And East wins the tip to number three, Michelle Cox. Pass it off to Lyric Calhoun. Back to Calhoun. Back to Cox. Out to Sally. Down low to Sally. Back out to First number one. It really helps. Tanae Taylor who drills the three pointer. That was beautiful. He's uh, pretty quick. Montbello back. The other side out to right. Back to Moore. Back to Hernandez. Now back to right. There's Simone Moore. Now to Couch. Now to Hernandez. Back out to Moore. Strong defense by the Angels thus far. Back out to the other Moore. Sisters on the court today. That's tough for all of us. Angels get the seal. Lyric Calhoun misses with the three. And back to the other side with Simone Moore. Back out to Donnie Wright. Absolutely. Absolutely. Angels playing strong defense so far, so far. Definitely have the size advantage. And that's a block for Franny Sally. He takes it back up the court. It's Michelle Cox down to Sally. Saved, but turned over to Montbello. Hernandez takes it up. Back out to right at the top. And we've got a violation. So now we have a moment. We have the East Angels vs. Montbello Warriors. You're watching EALive.tv. Angels come in at 15 and 4. The Warriors are 5 and 10. Uh, both competing for the city championship. Our seven time defending city champions. Uh, we look forward to a good one today. Uh, we are at the manual Thunderdome. Expecting a big crowd. Uh, we'll have the boys game for you later at 3 o'clock. The Lady Angels have had a, a really great season, and even though they're coming off of a big win against the West Cowboys, they still need to stay focused, and they need to get the job done today. And Calhoun has a seal. We have a jump ball, which will go to Montbello. Uh, I think that was a foul. And as you were saying, inbound is blocked. Yes, uh, there's a significant height advantage that East has versus almost every one of its competitors. Absolutely. But today doesn't have anyone uh, above 5'9", and uh, Franny Sally, as we all know, in. is much taller. Shot falls for Donnie. Uh, sorry, that was Zierra Couch. With the shot, we... Angels take it back. Down low to Sally. Puts it up. First two points for Franny, probably first of many today. As the Warriors bring it back. Puts it down low. Donnie right at the top. Right to Couch to Hernandez. Sally with the rebound takes it up. Palm sings down, drops it off to Kim Keane Taylor. Shot's no good. Warriors bring it back. Pretty tough defensive matchup so far. It may be a cliche, but truly in every single game, the defense is the one that wins the game. And East Warriors has just a terrific defense. Checking in for the Angels, Hallie Jones 
Asia Roper and Janae Peavy. Oh, it bounds. And the shot is no good. A foul. Loose ball foul goes to the Angels. Just getting started today. Um, John A. Taylor takes it up. Pass it off. Sally has it up top of the key. That was Asia Roper with the shot off the glass. Angels pressing hard. Trying to get up early. Sally almost takes the steal, but we Montbello's ball. Press early shows Angels are not afraid to keep the pressure on. And that was a clever move by number five, Donnie Wright. Passing it off the back on the inbound. Angels playing tight defense. That's a foul on number 11, Asia Roper. It's her first foul, first team foul. Montbello ball. And this is uh, uncharacteristically um, not not like East usually at this point. They'd be they'd be winning by almost ten points. Or the score stands at seven to two, and uh, I'm surprised to say the least. Matchup when you put East against Montbello, definitely a long-standing rivalry. So records go out the window. Everybody's playing hard today. And Montbello brings it up, trying to break the press. And Hallie Jones. We're getting close to an eight-second violation. They avoid it. And shots missed by number 32, Simone Moore. And Hallie Jones with the three. Air ball picked up by Moore, taking it back down the court. Stolen by Hallie Jones. Definitely a lot of defense today as number one, Keanu Taylor, with the ball. Misses the pass. We have a turnover. Back to Montbello. It's going to be these turnovers that keep the game uh, with low scores, I can tell you Absolutely that. Absolutely lots of turnovers so far, and the shot is up, and no good. Another one, still no good. Rebound. And number three, Michelle Cox. We got a foul. Foul on Montbello. Number. Number four, I think. Zierra Couch. And we have a timeout now. Uh, we will. We will be right back. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. The Thunderdome in this matchup from the East Lady Angels against uh, the Montbello Warriors. Angels bring it up. That's number three, Michelle Cox for the Angels. It down low to House Jones who lays it in. Her first points of the day. And the Angels are still pressing. Trying to get the early lead. And so the Angels are not going to let him get past half court today. Make her go left. Holly, she doesn't touch it. Let's go. Coach Barry urging his players to jump on these guys early. 
Really. And Montbello breaks the press. Down low to Simone Moore who puts it up. No good. Rebounded. We got a jump ball. That's East ball. The Angels will take it back up. Michelle Cox. Let's see what we got. Got a little confusion here, but still Angels ball. Cox brings it up. Cox to Sally. Not Sally. Down low. Puts it up. That's number 21. Janae Peavy. And Marbella comes back, breaks the press, that's Simone Moore. Out to Zell Moore. That's a, uh, still Marbella's ball. Louis Calhoun checks in for Roper. Uh, and East today, it looks like they're doing man -man coverage. And they're amazing win against West. They were doing zone coverage, so I'm expecting they're gonna switch it up at some point. It's still uh it's still a pretty you know, we're still at the very beginning of the game, so you never know. That's number three, Michelle Cox with the pull up jumper. Out to more. Still trying to break the press. Angels working hard on defense. And, and Montbello gets through. That's Zellmore with the shot and in. Angels bring it back up, trying to get the fast break. Down low to Khadija Vigil. And she is fouled. It'll be two shots. Number 50, Khadija Vigil, the free throw. And the shot is up, and it is good. It's one shot there. And Franny Sally checks back in for Vigil. Bimambella ball. And stolen right off the bat by Taylor. Swings it back out to Cox who shoots. No good, rims out. Back out to Janae Peavy. Misses a shot again. Sally with the rebound. Swings it back out to Cox. Back down low. That's Janae Peavy with the shot. Angels still yeah. pressing. Come on, let's go, let's go. And there's a steal for PV. That's another point for the Angels with number one Taylor. Angels still pressing. Trying to expand on this 14 point lead. Taylor misses a shot. With him on Mellow Ball. Mumbo is struggling more and more to break the press. The Angels are setting down, laying down on them. Sally almost gets the seal. Moore brings it up. And there's the seal for Sally. Passes it to number one. Taylor misses the shot. That's the end of the first quarter. Your Angels leading 20 to 6. Stream, camera three, beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, 
Go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Montbello will have the ball to kick off the second quarter. <laughs> That's a pass to Bellmore out of bounds. That'll be Angel's ball. The Lady Angels have always been great at the press, and it's their textbook execution that's winning them this game, and that has won them almost every game this year. It's Absolutely. really amazing to watch it, and it's just like a pile of really skilled basketball players. Absolutely, as Franny Sally is fouled by number four, Zierra Couch. You don't wanna Perfect. foul Franny because you know she's gonna make those shots. Absolutely. Sally with a very high free throw percentage for the year. First one's up and good. Franny. Second shot up and good. So Sally hits both her free throws and the Angels resume their press. Montbello keeps the ball for now as Hallie Jones checks in for Jenea Peavy. We're seeing a lot of substitutions today, and that's good because that keeps everybody fresh. No one's going to be tired, and that's the way they're going to win the game. Making Absolutely. sure that everybody's ready to go in and everybody's ready to come out. Conditioning definitely important today, or at least the Angels are going to make sure it's a factor as they continue to lay on a full court press on the Warriors. This we'll find out who ran more suicides. As the Warriors bring it up and turn it over. Angels on the fast break. That's Taylor to lay in very nice. Let's go, let's go. Turn it up. Angels continue to press. The Moors passing back and forth. Zell and Simone as Hernandez takes a shot. It is no good. Balls out. That is Angels ball. No, it seems like the uh, Montbello Warriors just can't find their shots today. And who can blame them? That defense is ridiculous. Absolutely. Very few open looks so far. Size advantage for East already becoming a factor. As Jones is fouled. There's a bit of a scuffle here. It's getting nasty. Coach is talking to her players. Referees are talking to each other. That was on number five. I didn't. I don't think I totally saw what happened just there. Noah, did you? Anyway, tensions high. Absolutely, with this rivalry game. Uh, referees pointing the authorities to an especially rowdy parent, I think. Uh, so things are interesting already as the Angels lead 24 to 6. Uh, in the second quarter, we got 6.52 to play before the half. Uh, you know, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back.
Okay, come back in. Come back in. And we're back. So I haven't resumed play. Uh, minor altercation seeming to result in a double technical. We've got uh, technical on number five, Donnie Wright from Montbello. And not sure, I think it's number 10 for Denver East. Uh, still trying to clarify. Yes, so we got a technical on number 10, Hallie Jones, and a technical on number 5, Donnie Wright. And hopefully we can start playing some basketball again before too long. Uh, this has been kind of a minor crisis. Referees still trying to sort it out. Both coaches not real happy about what's going on. Um, just about always see this sort of uh, heated con confrontation when East plays Montbello or George Washington. Generally, those uh, in district within our district rivals. Um, so tensions high today for this matchup between your East High Angels and the Montbello Warriors as we get back underway. 6.52 left in the second quarter. Your Angels leading 24 to 6. Again, you're watching EA Live. Uh, I'm Andrew Wise with Noah Reynolds. Um, hopefully. And it's amazing to see some of, uh, some of our supporters here can get really intense sometimes, but when you look at the, the Lady Angels, everyone's smiling, everyone's still having a good time. They're not try to have something like this phase them you know they're here to play basketball and they're doing it quite well today absolutely could have been worse I think uh, everything seems to have simmered down now and hopefully we're about to get back underway um, Referee still talking to the official of the scoring table. Both, I think both assistant coaches trying to figure out exactly what foul is being assigned to who. There was an initial foul on number four. Uh, Zierra Couch. Should be Angel's ball. Uh, the referee's still working on this. I think we're going to take one more break. See if we can finish this out. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you. Okay, now we're back for second quarter. Finally figured it all out. For those of you uh, who are so a little confused, we had a double technical here. Uh, number five on my fellow Tony Wright and number uh, ten. Number ten, Ali Jones for East also received a technical Took quite a while for the officials to get all sorted out, but we are back. And Franny Sally has a couple free throws. Misses that one. Just rims out. Lyric Calhoun with the rebound, but turns it over. Stay there, stay there. As Donnie Wright brings it up. And Calhoun with the steal. And fouled by Wright. So the East ball. And we are in the bonus. Angels with the one and one bonus. And we got a timeout. As if we haven't wasted enough time already. Uh, we'll be right back again. You're watching EA Live. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. 
we're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. So Lyric Calhoun will have one and one. She hits this free throw, she'll get another one. Shots up and good. For Calhoun. Only three fouls for the Angels, eight for the Warriors. As they bring it back up the court. That's Zell Moore trying to break the press. Angels have been pressing all day. Been pretty effective. You gonna get the turnover? Yes, they will get the turnover. And then they turn it back over. That's Simone Moore. Franny Sally with the ball. Kicks it out to uh, number three, Michelle Cox at the top, trying to get the Angels all set up. Kick back out to Sally. Swung around to Calhoun, who takes a shot, no good. Rebound by Hernandez. Swings it back out. And a travel on Sierra Couch. The Warriors. Turnover is definitely hurting the Warriors today, would you say, Noah? Uh, I think I would agree most definitely with that. Definitely Angels pushing hard on defense today. Capitalizing on mistakes from Montbello as Franny Sally posts up down low, puts up the shot, and it is good. They've Lots of points for Franny already today. They've really successfully kept the Warriors on their side of the court, and that's paying off on the scoreboard. Down low to Moore, back out to Zell Moore. Down low to Simone Moore. And we've got a foul on Asia Roper, number 11 for East. That's her first foul, fourth team foul, as Simone Moore takes the free throws. First shot up and good for Moore. As Ryan Finley Pond and Uh, Janae PV check in and Moore hits both free throws to bring the Warriors within 20 and Cox with the pull up three spectacular as Montbello brings it back up the court the Lady Angels do not waste time getting down the court it's amazing to see how quickly they can go from one side to the other and almost 100% of the time make those shots. Absolutely, as Moore brings it back out. That'll stay Montbello's ball. Off of Peavy. Pass into Zell Moore, puts a shot up, no good. And it'll be Angel's ball at the baseline Michelle Cox takes it up no press from the Warriors so defense definitely one-sided today as it gets down low to Franny Sally and she puts it in definitely a size advantage for Sally down low matched up against the against the 5-9 Simone Moore as Franny with the pull up Pull up shot, no good. Back out to Sally. Passes out of bounds. It'll be Montbello ball. The East Lady Angels are doing a great job pushing into the paint. Threes are great, but that's where the game is won, in the paint. And like always, the Lady Angels are doing what they need to do. And that's why they're winning by so much today. Definitely an advantage for the Angels down low today. Franny Sally, one of the better centers in the state. She checks out. Um, Khadija Vigil checks in. And it'll stay Montbello's ball down under the basket. 
Angels pressing hard on every inbound. She kicks it out to Simone Moore. Uh, off to Zellmore. Who holds on to the ball. Swings it out to Kendall Pegas. And there's a turnover. Michelle Cox with the shot. No good. Rebounded. Milani Marsh gets the steal. Zell Moore brings it up. Pass out to Kendall Pegas. And Simone Moore trying to drive. Nowhere to go. Foul on number 50, Khadija Vigil. It's five fouls for the Angels. And Montbello inbounds. Ball taken by Michelle Cox. Takes it down, pulls up, and misses a shot. Gets her own rebound. Foul on number 40, Zell Moore. Cox will shoot two. First shot's good for Michelle Cox. And second shot also good. Angels hitting their free throws today without a doubt. Things are looking good so far. We got just under three minutes to go in the second period. 34 to eight Angels as Zell Moore brings it up. Defended by Michelle Cox, nowhere to go. Passes out of bounds. I'll stay Montbello ball. There's a inbound to Zell Moore, blocked by Finley Pond for the Angels. Stay Montbello ball. When these Lady Angels mark up, they're on you like white on rice. It's quite amazing. They are so focused. I've never seen anything like it. Strong defensive basketball from the Angels today. Without a doubt. And even with Franny Sally on the floor, they dominate size-wise. Keisha Vigil down low. As Michelle Cox brings it down low to Finley Pond. Who ball is stolen by Zell Moore. Puts it up, fouled, and Moore will shoot two. Fouls on number 21, Jenea PV for the Angels. Six, six team fouls for the Angels today. First shot for Moore is off the rim. Two thirteen left in the half. Moore hits the second free throw. Michelle Cox puts the ball up for the Angels. Down low to Finley Pond. Oh, it's in. Ball rattles in. Very nice. Up more pass to number five, Donnie Wright from Montbello. Throws up, uh, no good. Rebound for Vigil. Hallie Jones with the three. Oh. Air ball. Rebound for Khadija Vigil. No good. Another air ball. And Jenea Peavy is fouled. We get two shots. Fouls on Donnie Wright, I think. First shot up and no good for Jenea Peavy. Franny Sally checks in for Vigil. And Kendall Pegas. 
Kendall Peggs checks in for Donnie Wright for Montbello. Let's see if Janaea can hit the second free throw. It's up and good for the Angels. 37 to 9. Minute 30 left in the half. Another turnover for the Warriors. The Angels ball. Michelle Cox takes it up. Passes to Sally. Down low. Fouled. Once again. No, it seems like if they defend Sally, they foul her. And if they don't defend her, she scores. Right. You, you can't win. It's a, it's a dangerous mix. You got a good defender. You have a good shooter. You have a good passer. Freddie Sally is just an amazing athlete altogether. Uh, Sally hits her first free throw. Second shot's up and no good. Rebound for the Angels. PV. Back to PV. Travel. So it'll be Warriors ball. Angels still pressing late in the first half. Trying to expand their lead. And there's a seal for PV. Out to Jones. Down low to Cox. Shots up and no good. Rebound. Back to Montbello. And we got a foul. Foul on Michelle Cox for the Angels. And the Angels are in the uh, also in the bonus. We got both teams in the bonus now. So Yasina Hernandez will shoot two shots, or shoot one shot. No good. Rebound for Finley Pond. And Michelle Cox brings it up for the Angels. 45 seconds left. Hallie Jones. Nope. As... Keane Taylor checks in for the Angels. It'll be Montbello ball. We got Sierra Couch with the ball. Pass back to Zell Moore. Angels pressing. And that's a steal for the Angels. Down low to Sally who puts it up and good. 40 to 9 with 25 seconds left in the half. Angels still pressing. Montbello not sure what to do about it. Waiting probably too long. And Montbello keeps the ball. Sally knocks away, but it's out of bounds. When the Angels press like that, Montbello has nowhere to go. They just have to keep passing until they find an open hole. We'll see who gets the last shot of the half. Angels pull a trap. And we got a jump ball. Stays with the, stays with the Warriors. Seconds left in the half. Correction, that will be Angels ball. See if they can get one last shot off before the end of the half. Sally to Cox. Back down low to Sally. Puts it up and good. Franny Sally. The Angels go into halftime with a 42 to 9 lead. So we've had two technicals. Whole bunch of points, whole bunch of defense. Good game so far. Again, you're watching EA Live. We'll be back for the second half. Thank you. I go hard in the paint. I go hard in the I go hard in the Yes, I try. I go hard in the paint every game. And I try to make consistency. I definitely go hard in the paint. I go hard in the paint. I go hard in the paint. You go hard in the paint? Yes. You go hard in the paint? Oh yeah. I go hard in the motherfucking paint. Fuck I go hard Fuck in the paint. Pa pa yeah. yeah, you stank it. Yeah. What the what the fake it? I don't die for my label, what I talk about. Throw a yard broad day with no See Gucci, you can call him red bro. I hang in the jail with no hands for a Got a man, got a mistress.
dexterous. What else? A couple of was a year or two years ago. Yes, absolutely. We're, we're a lot closer, and we have grown a lot. I mean, we've had pretty much the same team for three years, so. <laughs> what are your expectations for the year? Um, I'm expecting to win state because we control the paint, so honestly, <laughs> we control the game. Is the team better than last year's team? Or the I think so. Right. What's different? Um, I think we just have a lot of experience. There's a lot of seniors. I think there's nine seniors. So everyone's had some experience and we kind of went, last year was kind of like everybody learned how to be on varsity and then this year it's been like just improved. Yeah. What are your expectations for the year? My expectations are that we work as a team to get to state and hopefully win state. What are your expectations for the year? Um, to go undefeated and win state. Is the team better than it was a year or two years ago? Um, yeah, some of us have played uh, with each other since fourth grade. Some of us just three years ago, so pretty close. State title or bust? State title. Do you go hard in the paint? I go hard in the paint. My expectations this year is to help my team do anything and everything we can to be successful. Which players are you most excited about? Oh, my whole team. The whole we team? Have, we have eight seniors. Mm -hmm. uh, every young lady on the team can play basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a good, good group of young ladies, and uh, we're excited about this year, and we're going to dominate. Uh, what are your expectations for the season? Oh, our expectations for the season is to uh, represent East High School in a positive manner. We're gonna excel in the classroom, we're gonna excel on the court, and we're gonna excel in the community. I won't die for my label, what I talk about. I go hard in the pain. Pa pa yeah, Leave you stankin'. Yeah, what the what the thinkin'? I won't die for my label. What I talk about? Throwing your broad day with no. See Gucci, you can call him Red Bro. I hang in the jail with on his boy boy. What the fuck I play with? A couple of girlfriends, I'm so rich Keep my dick hard and keep me sick You get bills free, shout it, no joking And what I stand for, bricks for I'm a doctor this year, I think we're going to have a really great team. We've got a great junior class and a great sophomore guard in Brian Carey. Um, we've got some great seniors coming off the bench. You know, we're looking forward to going into the season and making an impact and making a lot of noise here in Colorado. I think that our team, our team leadership is a lot better than it's been in the past. Um, we have a lot of players that want to come out and work hard. Um, every day in practice is a different dedication and motivation to something different. I go hard in the State title or bust? 
uh, that's what I think it is. I, I kind of think of us as Miami Heat. And you can't lose, otherwise it's just embarrassing. State title, hands down. I mean, that's what our team is working for, you know. We just want to come out and have a good time as a, gr as a group, you know. We have a great skill set and a lot of teams. You know, I don't think there's any team really in the state that can touch us. State title. State yeah. title. Oh, we're going to win state. We're we going to take it off. I communicated to the kids that it's a championship of us, just like the Miami Heat. We have a, we have a LeBron James. We have a Dwayne Wade. We have all the talent that the Miami Heat team has. We have that here on the high school level. Um, so, yeah, it's a championship of us. It's a lot of pressure to put on yourself, but I think uh, that's good, healthy pressure. Is the team better than it was a year ago or two years ago? No doubt. We're, we're more mature uh, as a team, and we're probably more skilled this year. Is it a state title or bus situation? It's uh, in our sights. You know, we do what we're supposed to do. Uh, we certainly need a little luck to go with that, but we're going to be close. I go hard in the m I bank. Yeah, you stank it. What the what the thank it? Hold on, hold on. I go hard in the pa pa paint. Let you stank it. What the what the thank it? I don't die for my label. What I talk about? Throwing yard broad day with no. See Gucci, you can call him Red Bro. I hang in the jail with no hands going boy. What the fuck I'm playing with? A couple of girlfriends, I'm so rich Keep my dick hard and keep me sick You get bills free, shouting no joking And what I stand for, bricks for I'm a guy this year, I think we're going to have a really great team. We've got a great junior class and a great sophomore guard in Brian Carey. Um, we've got some great seniors coming off the bench. You know, we're looking forward to going into the season and making an impact and making a lot of noise here in Colorado. I think that our team, our team leadership is a lot better than it's been in the past. Um, we have a lot of players that want to come out and work hard. Um, every day in practice is a different dedication and motivation to something different. I go hard in the I you stank it. What the fuck I think it I won't die for my label. What I talk about. match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. Hey everybody, welcome to the Thunder Dome at Manuel High School. We're starting the second half of the basketball game, East Lady Angels versus the Bob Bella Warriors. It's looking like a blowout so far, the score is 42 to 9. And the Lady Angels are just not giving up at all. Cox has the ball at the top of the key. All the way to Taylor. Freddy and Sally to put it in. Sorry about that. Anyway, here we are, second half. Uh, Zell Moore for Montbello Warriors. Brings it up. Out to Hernandez. Back to Couch. Shots no good for Zierra Couch. We have a jump ball that'll go to the Angels. So Michelle Cox brings it up for the Angels. Down low to Sally. Puts it up, no good. 
Rebound by Zierra Couch for the Warriors. Zell Moore bringing it up. What's really hurting the Montbello Warriors here today is not being able to capitalize in the paint on top of the key or anywhere. They're playing great, they're passing, but when it comes to putting it in the bucket, they just can't do it. Can't seem to drive, can't seem to get hardly any easy lay-ins. And there's another steal. That one for number one, Keane Taylor. And let's see, we got a timeout from Ambello. Full timeout. So we will take a quick break. Again, you're watching EA Live. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. Third quarter, Angels leading 46 to 9 over the Mombello Warriors. It'll be, let's see, it'll be Warriors ball. Number 10, Yasina Hernandez tosses it to Zierra Couch, brings it down. Couch can't seem to do anything against this East High defense. The same on Bello Ball. And stolen right there by Ryan Finley Pond. Pass from Calhoun to Sally for the easy lay in. That's nice basketball right there. It's beautiful basketball. Freddie Sally is always there. And the passing, passing for the Angels looking a lot smoother than that for the Warriors thus far. As Montbello has another turnover. Angels will keep the ball. As number 35, Kendall Peggs checks in. Also, uh, number 20, Milani Marsh. It'll be Montbello's ball after the turnover. Definitely a defensive fight today. And it's Donnie Wright. Donnie wow. Wright was one of the two girls called. We had a double technical in the second period. And it hasn't faced either player. Nope, both. Both players still in the game. Nothing, nothing further uh, in terms of confrontation. Everybody seems to be getting along. And there's a steal for Keanu Taylor. Pass it up to Finley Pond who lays it in. 50 to nine for the Angels. And suddenly, Montbello's out of this game. Zellmore though, props with the drive. She's a little bit smaller, but gosh, she is fast. Definitely tough. Definitely doing a lot of work for this Montbello team. Misses the free throw though. Looks like we're gonna sub out the whole lineup. Seeing a whole new line. And Granny it's Sally's out. The fresh feet in there, that's going to make sure that the girls aren't getting too tired but still playing great basketball. Absolutely. We've got Janae Peavy, Ajane Johnson, who's just coming back from being sick, uh, Asia, Asia Roper, hey, Asia. Angel. Angel. And, 
And let's see, Khadij Vigil for the Angels. Still, still a strong line. Definitely a, definitely a deep team for the Angels this year. Yeah. It's not, not every team that can sub out all five players and still have a strong, strong setup as Simone Moore blocks Ajane Johnson's shot. It'll be Montbello Ball going the other way. What's great about these blowouts is it gives some girls time to play when they would otherwise not. And that's great for team. That's great for everyone to be happy on the team. And this is the time for the girls to really prove themselves to hopefully get on the starting lineup at some point. And there's a steal for Janae Peavy. Fouled by Ziera Couch. That's the first foul for the Warriors this half. And PV will shoot two. Angels definitely hitting their free throws today. Not that one, but otherwise. Been a good showing from the line. Second shot up and good for Janae PV. Janae PV just Bella has Bella. a miraculous form. Mm. It's amazing watching her shoot free throws. Angels still pressing. Coach Barry uh, calling off the full court press. When you're up 41, that's probably probably warranted. Still strong defense from the Angels. And they're trapping Zara Couch. Jump ball. Still just strong defense for the Angels pushing Montbello all the way back to half court. And it'll be East Ball. Asia Roper for the Angels. And that's Hallie Jones. Hits the shot. Beautiful three-pointer for Hallie Jones. Airballed a couple today, but seems to be back on form. Hopefully she can heat up. And there's a steal for Janae Peavy. Shot up and no good. Rebound for Khadija Vigil. Can't get the shot up. And she's fouled. Fouls on Number 32, Simone Moore. And Vigil will shoot two. First shot's up and good for Khadija Vigil. Replacing Franny Sally, still pretty strong down low. I would totally agree. She's got the height and she's got the speed. And shots up and good for Vigil. It looks like East is uh, turning takes it back up. from man-to-man -man defense to zone defense. And I can tell you, doing zone defense has really helped them all year. They've won their biggest games at zone, and I think it's a good move by Coach Barry. Absolutely. Vigil fouled again, this time by Kendall Pegs. Montbello. Montbello with three fouls this half. Vigil shot off the rim. No good. Second shot. Up and also no good. Hallie Jones with the rebound. Puts it in. It's amazing. So after the three pointer. Hallie Jones follows that up with a quick offensive rebound. That's a foul on Khadija Vigil. So Mombello will take the ball. It's Milani Marsh inbounding to Ziera Couch. 
Couch calling the play. Can't keep a handle. Tough defense for Khadija Vigil causes the travel. It would be Angels ball. Intimidating defense from the Angels today. Oh my gosh. Amazing. You have Vigil and you have Sally and those girls can get it done on defense. And Khadija Vigil down low. Fouled again. She'll shoot two. I and that foul is on Ziera Couch, number four. I, I, no, I think that's uh, I think that's about six free throws for Khadija Vigil in about two minutes worth of play. And she's made just about every single one. Not that one though. <laughs> As Vigil will get some get some shooting practice today, doing the work down low. Second shot up and good. Lane violation. Lane violation for the Angels. Shot does not count. Montbello brings it back up. Pass is almost intercepted. It'll remain Montbello ball. Montbello struggling to complete passes. Struggling to drive to the hoop. And no long range shooting zone as Ajane Johnson gets a steal and is fouled by number 10, yes Yesenia Hernandez. So the Angels will have the ball at the baseline. It's five fouls for the Warriors this half. Ajane Johnson in the corner takes a shot. Rims out. Rebound for, and there's a travel on Jenea Peavy. It'll be Montbello ball. And no more press today for the Angels. Up 48. And there's a steal. Pass, trap there. Johnson driving in down oh. low. Haley Jones comes up with the ball. That's PV. Vigil had four goals on her and still pulls it off. That's impressive. And Zierra Couch misses the shot on the other end. It'll be Angel's ball again. That's Roper. Turnover. Montbello bring it back up. Lots of running here in the last 30 seconds. Zell Moore with the shot, no good. Johnson with the rebound. Up to Vigil. Shots up and no good. Rebound for Montbello. It's a foul on Ajane Johnson, number five. It'll be Montbello ball. Crazy last few possessions there. Things getting a little sloppy maybe. But uh, we got a minute 30 left in the in the third quarter. As Zell Moore brings it up for the Warriors. Zell Moore has been a great asset for the Warriors today. She's fast and she knows how to pass. Absolutely. And that's Yasina Hernandez with a nice lay in for the Warriors. Michelle Cox brings it back up for East. Lyric Calhoun takes a shot. Bringing the starters back in. Cox back with the ball at the top. Down low to Sally. Puts it up, fouled. And one. And one. Well, Brandy Sally's back in the game immediately. She has an opportunity to get a three point play. So we have the starters back in for the Angels now, for the most part, as Sally completes the three-point play. 61 to 12 Angels. Zell Moore at the top for Montbello. 
pass to Ziera. Ziera Couch. And we have a travel turnover. Anyway, on for the Warriors, back to the East Ball. Michelle Cox with the ball. There's number one. Ah, oh, so close. Kevon A. Taylor with the shot. Zelp breaking the press. Strong ball handling from Moore. Back out to Couch with the shot. No good. Granny takes it up. At the buzzer. So close. No good for Franny Sally. And at the end of the third quarter, East leads Montbello 61 to 12. Again, you're watching EA Live. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to try to dictate to you what you're going to do on both offense and defense. Time to put the hats on and go get some work done. So they're all going to look to make a statement early. Have one quarter to go here. Emmanuel High School in the Thunderdome. Your East High Angels lead the Montbello Warriors 61 to 12. Had a at times violent contest today. Lots of defense. Lots of clean basketball from the Angels. Have a foul there on Lyric Calhoun for the Angels. No, you think we'll start to see a little uh, few gifts from the refs to the Warriors? I think so. Down, down almost 50. And there's almost a turnover. Zell Moore saves it for the Warriors. Moore ball handling, probably the one bright spot for the Warriors today. Definitely a strong point guard. At this point we in the game. Foul. As we have a foul on number one, Keane Taylor, go ahead. At this point in the game, the Warriors probably aren't playing a win. They're just playing to show that they will not give up. Yeah. And sometimes that's the greatest part. That's when these players really show their true colors. Absolutely. Inbounded to Zell Moore. Calling the play for the Warriors. And that's Donnie Wright. Again, had a technical earlier. Still playing. And up to... Yeah. Right lots of travels Finley called today. Pond. Absolutely, lots of travels today. Finley Pond can't quite pull off the fast break point. It'll be Montbello ball. As Zell Moore brings it up for the Warriors. Again, Freddie Sally, she is so tall, and she can do that. She can block those shots right before they go in. It's amazing. Absolutely. Right. Right. Franny having a strong day on both sides of the basketball, defensively and offensively. Definitely an important part to the Angels' dominance thus far. Simone Moore for the Warriors. Trying to find a way in. Takes a long three-pointer. No good. And that'll be East Ball. So one more turnover for the for the Warriors. 
we'll have an entire line change for the for the Angels. Pretty much all the starters coming out. As Asia Roper brings the ball up for the Angels. Ajane Johnson saves it. Down low to Peavy. Out to Hallie Jones with the three. No good. Boy, she either hits it or she airs, air balls it, I think. But nonetheless, Mombello ball headed back the other direction. Lots of turnovers today. Absolutely lots of turnovers today. As Asia Roper brings it up for the Angels. Vigil in the corner. Out to Peavy. Beautiful shot. Beautiful land. Jenea Peavy. Looking strong. Zell Moore. No, I don't think she's sat yet for the Warriors. Moore. She's such an important player. They can't uh, afford to. Nope. Asia Roper misses a shot. Donnie Wright to Moore. Bringing it up the court. And that's Simone Moore down low. No good. Johnson with the rebound. Passes up to Jones. Misses the lay-in. And Vigil is fouled. And Wright and Jones, who earlier were both given technicals after an altercation. Uh, Jones and Wright definitely getting into it today. So Vigil will shoot two. And first shot rims in for Khadijah Vigil. Lots of free throws for Khadijah Vigil today. Second shot's good as well. Can't to follow her anymore. I really can't. And there's another turnover. Asia Roper brings it up to PV. Lay-in is good. Beautiful assist. Beautiful. As the Angels go up 55 even on Montbello. Even though the Lady Angels are winning by so much, they're still playing their best basketball. Absolutely. It's qualities like this that have made them so good this season. Hallie Jones still not at all happy with Donnie Wright. Those two are not getting along today without a doubt. So we'll take a quick break. Again, you're watching EA Live. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna try to dictate to you what you're gonna And we're back. Zell Moore takes it up for the Warriors. She's fouled by number five, Ajane Johnson. Zell Moore may be small. She's a little 5'4", but man, can she run, can she shoot, and can she pass? It's quite amazing. Zell Moore strong without a doubt. First shot's up and good. Not much to work with for her, though. Nobody to pass to. They're just trying to. Today. 
they're just trying to prove that they can still play basketball. Bob Bellow's a great team, but just the cards, they have not played their cards right today. And unfortunately, that's leading to the deficit. Johnson takes it up and is fouled. And Donnie Wright. And Donnie Wright is done for the day. It's five fouls. So Ajane Johnson will shoot two. Checking in for Wright, Milani Marsh for Montbello. Angels are ranked 10th in the state this far. Mombello uh, not ranked at this point. Boys team, of course, number one, still undefeated in the state. But uh, both teams looking to do something in the state playoffs. Khadijah Vigil down low, can't hit. Simone Moore to Marsh. Zell Moore picks up the ball, brings it back out. And Marsh with the ball, stolen by number 20 for the Angels, Alexis Gutierrez. Celia Wolf with the shot, and in. Great job for Cecilia Wolf. Number 23. Michael Jordan's number for Cecilia Wolf. And Simone Moore has the top with the three, and hits. That was a great, that was a great shot. Three pointer for Simone Moore. Might be a little too late for little too little too late for uh, Montbello. So as Khadijah Vigil fouled once again, this time by Simone Moore. If you are not and that's five fouls for Moore as well. Bello, Montbello definitely getting into foul trouble today. No doubt. If you were to foul somebody, the idea would be to foul someone who's not very good at free throws. That is not the case for Vigil. I don't understand why they keep fouling her. It is such an unwise decision. As Vigil misses her second shot. Rebound by PV. Down low to Vigil again. Off the rim. Zell Moore brings it up for Montbello. And there's a foul. Foul number 20. Alexis Gutierrez for the Angels. And Yesenia Hernandez will shoot too. And no good. One and one correction there. Ajane Johnson brings it up, swings it out to Alexis Gutierrez, shot up, and rims out. Khadijah Vigil with the rebound, puts it in. Lots of points for Vigil. No good for Moore, second attempt. Right there for Sell more. And Vigil puts it up. No good. Rebound up. No good. Rebound again for more. And we've got a foul on number 20, Milani Marsh. So Vigil, we get two more shots. And first shots, first shots missed. 
think with all the practice she's been getting today, she would have hit that. But yeah. yeah. That's all right. Angel's up. Uh, 54. That'll be Montbello ball. Approaching the two-minute mark, Asia Roper checks in for Vigil. <laughs> Zell Moore still working hard. Out to number 15, Kelly Black. And we got a foul on Jenea Peavy for the Angels. So, Milani Marsh will shoot two. One and one, excuse me. And first shot's no good. Number 21, Janae Peavy with the rebound. Number 11, Asia Roper brings it up for the Angels. Roper! Yeah, Cecilia Wolf. To Johnson. And Johnson loses the handle. Pass out to Travel on Ajene Johnson. Coach Barry not real thrilled with that. But that's Strange Travel. She was on the ground and still called it. Tricky to know what the referee is talking about there. Zell Moore turns the ball over. 124 left in the game. Angels still up by 54. Down low to Alexis Gutierrez, and it's good. I think it's important to take note how classy the Lady Angels are being right now. It's a very, very different score game, and they're not taunting, and they're not showing off. They're being extremely good sports. It's really amazing. Absolutely. And rebound for Janae Peavy out to Roper. Montbello pressing now. Rather half-heartedly. So, Ajane Johnson with the three, no good. Zell Moore brings it up. Number 10, Esino. Esenia Hernandez with the three-pointer. Two-pointer. Correction. As Asia Roper to Cecilia Wolf blocked. Ajane Johnson fouled. Will shoot two. Fouls on number 35, Kendall Peggs. Johnson hopes to hit the free throws here. That's 10 fouls on Montbello. First shot's no good for Ajane Johnson. Score might be quite different if the Angels were. Even a little more consistent on their free throws. But, uh, not too bad. And Johnson misses both, but Roper with the offensive rebound. Back to Gutierrez. Trapped. And that's the game. 74-20, your Angels defeat the Montbello Warriors. With Noah Reynolds, I'm Andrew Wise. This is an EA Live presentation. Uh, join us for the boys at 3 o'clock. And other than that, have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you.